Well, welcome to this week's uh, Ask Dr. Dury. Uh, the question this week concerns a recent IMF, uh, IMWG publication, and uh, the questioner asks, what about this new uh, publication? What does that mean for myeloma patients? And uh, th this patient is referring to a recent publication dealing with new diagnostic criteria for myeloma, tests that can be used to diagnose myeloma early before crab features have emerged. And so this is extremely important to put this into context that uh, as part of the Black Swan Research Initiative, it has become clear that to have the best results with treatment, it's important to start as early as possible, provided one is confident that the disease is active and treatment is necessary. And so as a fundamental basis for the Black Swan Project moving forward in this way, it was extremely important to have standardized guidelines for this earlier diagnosis of myeloma before full crab features have emerged. And so we were extremely pleased that uh, Vincent Rajkumar took, took on this project and was successful in getting all of uh, our IMF colleagues on board to endorse this uh, project and uh, the manuscript was published in November in Lancet Oncology and we're pleased to say that this full manuscript is now available on the IMF website. So you can go there to see the details of this manuscript. What you will see is that four types of features are identified as ways to say that a patient has early myeloma. These are called myeloma defining events, MDE. And so these events are the following. Number one, instead of x-ray evidence of bone lesions, we can now rely upon some changes that occur either on MRI or a PET-CT scan. On MR MRI, what we are saying is that if there are two or more localized or focal lesions, or if on PET-CT scan there is a single lesion with evidence of bone damage, this is sufficient to say that there is early bone disease and this would be a, a reason to consider starting treatment. Looking at the blood free light test, we've uh, realized that if there is a free light ratio which is greater than 100, such a patient would develop uh, myeloma within a matter of months and so this is a very important uh, boundary uh, that again would be a justification to start treatment. As far as kidney function, we've identified a creatinine clearance, a measure of kidney functioning at a 40 level so that if the creatinine clearance is less than 40 then again this would be a concern about deteriorating kidney function and a reason to consider starting treatment. And finally if the bone marrow has more than 60 percent plasma cells uh, even although crab criteria have not emerged this is an important reason to think about starting treatment as soon as possible. And so we are very pleased that we have these definite criteria that can both guide the management of individual patients so that when you're talking to your doctor, this can be a reason to consider active treatment as soon as it might be needed, but also to use these criteria within upcoming trials uh, so that we can assess uh, the value of the treatment when we start early and possibly we'll start to see even better uh, results by using a novel uh, combination therapy.